Hey everybody, this is Stacy with SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services. And in this short video, I just want to introduce you to our demolition spreadsheet that we've created for demo contractors to make the production of your in-house demolition estimate very detailed and easy to understand. And so this is a sample that we are uh, currently selling at our marketplace at sfjohnsonconsulting.com. <clears throat> Take a look. And if you look at this closely, we've added some standard things that you would be removing, and we can adjust it based on what you do. And so, you know, some things you, you may not need, some things you may need, just let us know. We can add it to the line item, and then also what we do is give you the cost unit for that. So you know when you put in your number, you know it'll give you your man hour totals, and uh, that's really the purpose of this, to give you your man hour totals, your equipment costs if it does uh, apply. And so what we do for the equipment costs, we give you the average cost for that equipment for that work. And for this removal of the concrete, uh, we say that the equipment cost is $3.15 per square foot. So if you know how many square feet of concrete you're going to remove, okay. And so, again, we give you all of the man-hour cost units for everything that's on here. Removal of the walls, 0 0.03. Removal of the stairs, if there are stairs. And these are wooden stairs. Anything concrete would be uh, additional cost or there'd be an explanation, hand tools, whatever, uh, plumbing and capping. So there will be, and most demo doesn't have a material cost unless you're doing something like capping, okay? And to remove all interior fixtures, we gave that a squ per square foot cost because they're like most of us know when we get the demo set, there's no details on what's, on the walls and so we are able to price that per square foot and be pretty accurate in that number you can play with okay now as far as the labor rate we give you a standard labor rate for a demo base rate you can change all of these I would say don't change the cost unit because that's based on construction industry standards okay and then we added some stuff so new work uh, patch and repair the walls and the floors and we gave you what the typical material per square foot and then the final cleaning just in case you want to add that to a lot of demo contractors also perform the final cleaning and then uh, you know we just gave a allowance for disposal that's just a recommendation but really there is a way to determine the actual cost and we have videos and uh, man hour calculators and spreadsheets for that as well so you don't have to just give a lump sum ls is a lump sum and then of course we're going to leave uh something for you we have 15 here i'm going to take that out make sure the final sheet all of these should be zeros the sheet that you'll download from our website sfjohnsonconsulting.com will all be zeros and to who this is the basic, uh, you know, uh, language that we always recommend. This quote is based on plans dated, so you'd include whatever the date is of the plans that you have or the addendum that you were given. So always make sure you use the addendum date and is valid for 30 days. Now they want the estimates to be valid for 60 days, and that's easy to do when we talk about demolition. So, you know, just make sure it's whatever they ask for, and then always excluded anything not indicated above is always going to be excluded from this. So there's two schools of thought when it comes to this form. One, it's an in-house form that you don't share with your GC, or if you want full transparency, if your costs are really good, you think, you know, you really want to be out there and show be very transparent and really try to win the project, then you 
make this a PDF and then give it to the GC. I think that's always better, especially these days. So, or if, if you use the other school of thought where it's an in-house, then you would also have a letterhead that you'd put your final number on. But on that letterhead, you should also include all of these things so they know that your price is including everything that's detailed in the demo, uh, the demo plan, okay? And so, you know, these are kind of things that we're slowly but surely putting on our website, our marketplace. We have a marketplace for every trade. Slowly but surely, things are going up there. But these are the type of uh, items we think you can use, especially if you're just starting out. You want to look professional. And another thing I've recognized, I've noticed people call me for different things, and I call them back. And no, no voicemail, or the voicemail is full. No uh, nice go visit my website, an emergency text me, you know, none of that. So that's very important. Now, if you're just looking to get a job here and there and, you know, the low ball type person, you know, that's, that's how you choose to run your business. But a professional business that people are calling you, you should have a professional voicemail. Your voicemail should not constantly be full. And you should have a website. For those of you who don't, I always offer an extension for my website. So it would basically be like when you do yellow pages, it's not a yellow pages backslash your name. Well, it'd be the same thing for us. It'd be sfjohnsonconsulting.com backslash your company name. And I'd be more than happy to create a landing page for you so you can go and present videos or your pricing. So people on the internet will have a place for you to go to see your work and to also send you messages. All right, so this is Stacy with sfjohnsonconsulting.com. So many things that I'm doing before the end of the year. And the one thing that I'm most proud of that I hope you will join is the Minority Contractors Alliance. That is something that is solely our company joining with minority firms out there five years or less that want uh, a head up a heads up, a shoulder up on how to really be a professional out here and not being taken advantage of. And part of that alliance, we will train you in all areas of construction from the basics, estimating, project management, getting your license, claims, insurance, and all of that is part of the monthly membership. I hope you will join and I will see you soon.